Hello, my name is Lisa Purcell. I'm the physical activity expert at the British Heart Foundation. I'm here today to take you through some exercises with these stretchy bands called resistance bands. Um, they're relatively easy to get hold of, um, they're cheap and they're convenient. You can take them anywhere, you can put them in your bag, take it to work, take it away with you and do it in your hotel room and they're great for different levels of abilities. You can do things standing up and also sitting down. It's recommended that we do strength type activities at least twice a week and resistance bands are great for strengthening your muscles. They help with your balance and coordination, can help prevent osteoporosis and improve your quality of life. There are different types of resistance bands. Um, this is the simplest one. Um, you can also get resistance bands with handles. These are great for beginners. Um, things to remember with these types of resistance bands is to get a firm grip on the end of the band. This exercise is called the lateral raise. Um, it works your shoulder muscles. To start with, place the resistance bands under your feet, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, tummy tucked in, shoulders rolled back. Um, have your palms facing in towards your hips and then slowly raise your hands up to shoulder height keeping your elbows soft and not locked out and then slowly lower back down towards your hips. This exercise is called the squat which is really good for our upper leg muscles and also our bottom muscles. Slowly lower down towards the floor sticking your bottom out and back and then come back up to standing, making sure you don't lock your knees out. And then repeat the exercise, lowering down to the floor, and back off again. This exercise is called the bicep curl and is good for the muscles at the top of our arms. Slowly raise your palms and twist your arms towards your shoulders and slowly lower again so that your palms are facing your hips. Breathe out on the effort and in. This exercise is called the tricep press and is great for the muscles at the back of your arms. People like to get rid of those bingo wings and this is great for that. Start with your arm straight above your head pointing to the ceiling. You can place your other hand on your elbow to add a little bit of stability. The main point here is to try and keep your elbow as close to your head as possible and then bend your arm at your elbow to 90 degrees and then straighten your arm back up to the top. This exercise is called the leg press and is great for the muscles at the top of your legs called your quadriceps. Start by straightening your leg out in front of you and looping the resistance band around the middle of your foot. Soften your knee and then slowly bend your leg up towards your chest and then straighten it out back to the starting position. This exercise is called the calf press and works the muscles on the back of your lower leg. Start by extending your leg out straight in front of you. Remember to keep your knee slightly bent. Begin the exercise by pointing your toe towards the floor and returning it back up towards the ceiling. Remember to keep your knee slightly bent, point your toe towards the floor and then back up to the ceiling. This exercise is called the chest press and is great for the muscles at the front on your chest. Start with the band behind your back, your elbows bent and level with your body. Remember to keep your back nice and straight and slowly push forwards with your hands so they're in front of your body and then take it back 